Hi everybody, this is Gamblethor with VP Gamers bringing you a Protoss versus Protoss uh, top 10 ranked diamond matchup versus Slayer Boxer, who's the VP member, about 1300 points, and uh, UVA, another Protoss player obviously, with a 1200 rank point value. So we're going to go ahead and get this whole thing started. Pretty fast in the beginning, let's slow it down a bit, here we go, normal speed. Pretty standard, everyone's doing the same thing, looks like no cheese in this game. Moving along. Guy's building a pylon. Hey, he's building a pylon. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and try to find out where this mofo is. Looks like he's uh, marrying otherwise. There you go, he's chrono boosting. Forgot to build a pro, pro quick. Gateway scout. Gateway scouting. Lucky uh, first scout right there. If you notice the two gateways in the pylon and the two gateways in the pylon. Oh, there's another pylon. Oh, it, there's another pylon. All right, let's slow it down to uh, normal speed. Getting some gas, bringing out some more probes. Getting some gas, bringing out some more probes. So basically this is a uh, mirror match to the extreme. dog barking in the background so anyways building a building a zealot there getting some gas building a cybernetics core pretty quick although he already has a zealot out it's going double gas fast Let's take a look at the old spending roughly uh, the same Axes per minute. UVA is a crazy high. He must click a hell of a lot. In fact, let's go ahead and watch him for a bit here. Look at him clicking, clicking, and clicking. Clicking, and clicking, and clicking. Going back and forth real fast. Has some hotkeys set up. So if you're a programmer, you must evidently have a crazy high APM. Let's go ahead and watch Slayer Boxer. He's doing stuff. Going back and forth. I May mean, not necessarily be as high, but then again, anyone can click a bazillion buttons real fast to just jack that number right on up. Third gateway coming in, cybernetics core coming around. Two gateways, cybernetics core. Where's that robo facility, huh? Some stalkers. Pretty boring matchup thus far. Hopefully the action will pick up soon. There's the Robo Facility. And there's the Robo Facility. Production wise, they are building almost the exact same thing almost all the time. Resources maintaining under 200 roughly. Got that pylon coming in over here though, it'll be nice if these uh, upgrade to warp gates, so if he's advancing. UVA probably should have scouted a little bit more, granted this is well hidden. But it's only six minutes into the game. First thing is observer, it's pretty standard. No observer. Oh, but perhaps he's saving his money for something a little bit different. There goes the third gateway. Basically the same. Pretty good income. A little bit higher Slayer because he has a little bit more probes. Hitting that peak here. Don't want to get uh, supply capped. Although red is supply capped. Well, that's not good. Obviously, you want to avoid supply cap whenever possible. So if he were, he's able to actually produce a faster army. There he goes, getting a little bit more room now. 
Back door, make sure no one comes on in there. It's always uncomfortable. Still pretty standard. Ob's watching the armies here. Robo facility bringing up a uh, chrono boost in, a uh, Colossus. That's always nice. None yet right here. But then again, it just came into play right now, so let's see if he starts building that. Oh, there it goes. Right on schedule. Chrono boosting it. Saving up his Chrono Boost, probably to get that Colossi as fa out as fast as he can. Oh, CZ Observer, no more peekaboo for him. Let's take a look at the units now. On the whole, it has more Zealots, but Slayer has a little bit more variety. Well, one more unit is variety, but more Stalkers. Hey, here he goes. All right, he's advancing. And it's funny, he's about to advance too, UVA. Obviously, so lots and lots of zealots here. But no charge. Definitely would have made this a little bit different. But however, he is upgrading that range, which would definitely give him the advantage later on. Starts to warp in some units here. So Observer just hanging out. Let's just make sure he can see his army. Yep, there he is, taking a look. Knows if he doesn't strike soon, he might get outproduced. A lot of zealots in this army. However, he's not checking his tech, which would I would do. Probe Scalzo's army, he knows it's now or never. Expansion going up. A little bit different. Later on, pretty uh, basic build. Here comes the battle. Oh, those zealots are just getting annihilated before UVA even had a time to react. I don't think that uh, sentry unit's gonna do a lot. And you can just see the army just getting dwindled down. Dwindled, dwindled, dwindled. That was some terrible, terrible damage. Colossi's about to uh, die running it away. Maybe he's gonna salvage this. He gets another Colossi out, he has a chance. He definitely has some resources. Not canceling this. Be able to get some more zealots out if you were to do that. He's not chrono boosting. However, he does not have that range yet. Range just finished. Where he does not have the range, but he is not attacking. Oh, three colossi, several stalkers. That looks like the match. Explosion after explosion. Oh, and it just blows. There's the probe attack. Final chance. By a little. Oh, and there's the good game. Well, everybody, that was a VP Gamers Diamond Rank 1 matchup with Slayer Boxer and UVA.